As the sun rises, the arid landscape glistens under the golden rays and the shrubs and the scarce green trees shimmer in the morning light. Every dweller in the vast landscape gets out and about. The day starts and with it the needs to sustain and survive. At a glance it looks like a vast wasteland, infertile and uninhabitable. A region of hardships and struggle. Arid and imperious, almost daunting to the passerby, this arid landscape, the little run of Kutch, has its own charms when explored and understood. Though a bleak landscape, it is rich in biodiversity and is an ecologically important area for wildlife. Home to a myriad species of animals and birds, the little run of Kutch LRK is a vast salt marsh and encompasses an area of 4,953.70 square kilometers of the Little Run of Kutch and the districts of Surindranagar, Rajkot, Patan, Banaskatha, and Kutch. The habitat of Little Run of Kutch varies from saline desert plains, rocky and thorn scrub, arid grasslands plateaus to lakes and marshes. It can also be called a large ecotone, transitional land where two different ecosystems gradually meet, in this case marine and terrestrial. The Little Run is a unique saline desert landmass in the world and is the last home of Ghurkar, the Indian wild ass. The run's uniqueness lies in its characteristics of being both deserts and wetland. The inflow of marine water here is from the Gulf of Kutch and the rainy season causes the land to become one with the sea. The little run of Kutch has a variety of wildlife including the Ghurkhar, Asiatic wild ass that is not found elsewhere. The wild ass is a handsome chestnut brown member of the Equus genus, horse family. Wild ass sanctuary in this run is the home of Asiatic wild ass or Kur, one of the most endangered species in the world. It was established as a sanctuary on the 12th of January 1973. Most of the area of the sanctuary is grassland, which is also called bait. The Indian wild ass, also called the Ghurkhar or Kur, in the local Gujarati language, is a subspecies of the onager native to southern Asia. As of 2016, it is listed as endangered by IUCN. Easily spotted in big groups in the vast span of desert throughout the year, this population of wild ass is the only gene pool of Indian wild ass in the entire world and one of the six geographical varieties of subspecies surviving on the earth. Known for its stamina and surprising speed, they can run at 24 km per hour for two hours and take that to 70 km per hour in sprints. It is one of the fastest of Indian animals with speeds clocked at about 70 to 80 km per hour and can easily outrun a jeep. The Indian wild ass, as with most other Indian wild ass subspecies, is quite different from the African wild ass species. The coat is usually sandy, but varies from reddish grey, fawn to pale chestnut. The animal possesses an erect, dark mane, which runs from the back of the head and along the neck. The mane is then followed by a dark brown stripe running along the back to the root of the tail. With the arrival of monsoon, the landscape changes dramatically when an entire sanctuary area is filled with shallow fresh water. This stagnant water offers a vast feeding ground to the famous Kutch prawns and several other birds, fish and invertebrates. The seasonal dynamics of mixing of tidal water from the Gulf of Kutch 
and the nutrient in silt loaded monsoonal runoff water in the vast expanse of LRK support a very rich diversity and abundance of brackish water prawn and fish species. Metapenois cachensis is an endemic prawn species that occurs only in the Gulf of Kutch and uses the vast flooded expanse of LRK as their nursery ground. In the LRK landscape, the Surajbari Creek is known as the traditional prawn fishing grounds. Except in few locations, prawn fishing activities are seasonal in nature. Among all the fishing sites, amount of rainfall mainly determines the number of fishing days. The actual fishing days are quite limited and mainly determined by tidal pattern and wind direction and speed. The length of the fishing season depends on how frequently the run is inundated. Fishermen from nearby villages and many of their relatives from other parts of Gujarat migrate to the run with the onset of monsoon. They settle here for two to three months in the temporary settlements in slightly raised areas, locally called as Dhassi. The fishermen generally sell bulk of their good-sized prawn catch as fresh to a fixed local trader. Also, most of the fishermen convert some fraction of their total catch, generally smaller size prawn, into dry and then sell it in the market. Thus, they realize the prawn value through selling both fresh and dry prawns. The seasonal water logging turns into ponds with the rainwater stored in land depressions. The run is unique in the sense that it has characteristic of both deserts and wetlands. After the rains, the water evaporates and leaves behind broken chunks of cracked terrain that is rich in salts and minerals. It is one of the eight nationally important wetlands from Gujarat. The entire area derives its national importance also due to presence of various rare and endangered species of Schedule 1 and Schedule 2 of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. An area of about 4,953 square kilometers, mostly of the Little Run, is notified as Wild Ass Sanctuary WAS. These ponds in the sanctuary attract migratory birds and a variety of different bird species can be found here. Pelicans and lesser flamingos can be seen in a large number here. This sanctuary attracts many internationally threatened birds like Hubara Bustard, Dalmatian Pelicans, Hawks, Harriers and Falcons. Many of these birds migrate to these area, which falls on the migratory route of birds coming to Indian subcontinent. Cranes, ducks, pelicans, flamingos and land birds like sand grouse, bar-headed geese and francolins can be sighted here in the sanctuary. It is also home to various mammals apart from wild ass such as the Indian wolf, desert fox and Nilgai. There are around 70 elevated plateaus or islands locally called as baits in the sanctuary. These baits are slightly higher grounds interspersed with the vast matrix of run. These raised lands are low in salinity compared to the surrounding run. Baits are of two types, some with rocky outcrops or sandy deposits. The baits provide critical breeding habitat for wild ass during monsoon. Many of the centrally located baits like Pang, Mardak, Khijadiya, Dhut effectively function as important breeding areas in the LRK landscape. Of all these baits in LRK, Pang bait is the largest and Mardak is the highest bait. The only bait that has permanent human habitation in LRK is Nanda bait. Human presence is substantial also in Vasraj Solanki Bait due to the presence of a temple here. LRK has unique wildlife values and is amenable to various forms of tourism 
thanks to vast tracts of flat wilderness of run, magnificent mirage effect, population of wild ass, diversity and abundance of migratory and resident aquatic and terrestrial birds. The tourism activity is quite seasonal in nature as it is mainly restricted to winter season. There are quite a few private complexes that provide facilities for wildlife and nature viewing. The number of tourists and the private tour operators and resorts have increased over the years. Temporary human settlements can also be seen in LRK and amongst them the sizable tribe found here is that of Agaryas, the salt pan workers. It is to be noted that this wildlife sanctuary has one of the largest salt pans in India. To most people, manual salt making appears to be a very simple system. Making pans, spreading the brin, drying it and harvesting the salt. But it is far more creative and complex. Approximately around 10,000 Agarya families are involved in the inland salt farming in LRK between the months of September to May. The little run produces 31% of the state's salt. There are about 50,000 Agaryas who are engaged in salt production work in Little Run. Large portion of Little Run of Kutch has been covered by Prosopis chilensis. The other plants and trees are Morad, Oont Morad, Khijdo, Kerdo, Mithi Jar, Kheri Pilu, Akado, etc. LRK being a saline tract provides limited ecological window for plant species to adapt. Different salt tolerant plants growing here are uniqueness of LRK. There are vast grasslands in the certain fringe areas here and these grasslands are important habitat for the wild ass especially during winter and summer months. In the bait area parts which inundates during monsoon, salinity is generally higher compared to interior, slightly higher elevated portions. In the higher saline area, plant species like Suvaida nudiflora, locally known as Oont Morad, Suvaida fruticosa and Suvaida maritima, locally known as Morad, form association. These species provide rich source of food to the wild as population of LRK. The Indian wild ass has the ability to withstand extreme climatic conditions, including temperature variation ranging from 1 degree Celsius to 50 degree Celsius. The area has the highest annual evaporation rate in the country which results into a severe scarcity of water for wild animals inside run. With all these limitations and challenges, the Indian wild ass has come up with a steady growth in their population. Excessive salinity and long dry spells create conditions inhospitable for most life forms during the greater part of the year. Hence it is free from any permanent human settlements and provides high wilderness value. It is nominated by the Forest Department to be Biosphere Reserves, which are areas of terrestrial and coastal ecosystems, internationally recognized within the framework of UNESCO's Man and Biosphere Program, MAB Program. The sheer size of the area, the dynamics of dry and wet phase, and the particular flatness of the landscape makes it a distinctive landscape in the country. As the sun sets on this widespread bareness, the mosaic of sandy, rocky, stony and saline landscape gets into a slow slumber. The wild slips into quietude. A scenic and serene end of the day. An overwhelming silence that speaks about nature's splendor.